What's up guys? Welcome back to Half Men Half Tech. My name is Ben, your host. So finally when it comes to watchOS 8.1, I'll be happy to let you know that we now have the next beta, which is beta 3. This update was released after one week and one day since the release of beta 2 that we saw a few days ago. And I'm going to be updating to it here on my Apple Watch Series 6 as you can see. And you can see the exact update size that it came in at exactly 3 zero seven megabytes and i was updating from watchOS 8.1 beta 2 on my series 6 now obviously this is not all that apple released today it's been a busy day as you can see they released mac os 12 monterey beta 9 also they released ios 15.1 as well as ipad os 15.1 beta 3 and also they released watchOS 8.1 beta 3 of course this is the video for this and they released tvOS 15.1 beta 3 now most of these updates i'll be covering here on the channel and here at half men half tech i do cover a lot of apple software updates so if you want to stay up to date with such content and information then a sub to the channel would be appreciated now let's go into my apple watch and look at the software changes that came with this watch os 8.1 beta 3 so if we go into general and go into the about you can see the new build number that we have with this update and it's 19 r 5559e so now the letter that we have at the end ends with an e and in terms of stability or what this tells us coming from ios coming from watchOS 8.1 beta 2 we actually took a step back in terms of stability so we took a minus one now in terms of what's new with this watchOS 8.1 beta 3 the first change that you're going to see is when you get a new Apple watch and you want to pair it with your device this update actually tells you that watchOS 8.1 is supported on the new Apple Watch Series 7 that's going to be coming out this Friday. That's when the pre-orders begin. So if you open your iPhone and you actually go to your Apple Watch application, you will see a new screen if you are pairing your watch for the first time and that screen will have this picture just to tell you or show you that the new apple watch series 7 is supported so you can see it shows the dynamic contour watch face and also the portrait watch face and this is the apple watch series 7 the first time an apple watch is going to be available in this dark green color so i might be getting it and i'll be covering it here on the channel but you also see a pairing button here on the bottom something that i noticed that they fixed with this update is that when you actually roll your wrist like this and you raise it up what was happening sometime on watchOS 8.1 beta 2 was that once you raise up your wrist and the always on display kicks in that's when the time and also the complications would refresh but with this update they seem to refresh more often that is i haven't yet experienced that bug so let's lower my risk again and you see the complications are actually refreshing in real time unlike before where you sometimes had to click on them and go back and that's when the complications would update so that seems to be an issue that has been resolved now also when you see this watch face this is the memoji watch face you can see that when i tap it it responds quickly and let me switch to another watch face like this and go back to it you can see that it's quicker than what we had on beta 2 in terms of responsiveness on beta 2 you would select another watch face and then when you go back to it it would take like sometimes 10 15 seconds to respond but as you can see here it's actually responding quick and real time and the complications are also updating in real time so that is something that's good now i actually don't have the apple watch series 5 or the se or the series 4 to be able to go into settings and go to accessibility and go to assistive touch and turn it on but i noticed that with this update if i go to where it says motion pointer and i go down and i actually select where it says dwell to control and shake to start so you notice if i shake it actually doesn't start motion pointer if i shake again 
uh, let me try again so this shake to start isn't working normally sometimes it does start the motion pointer sometimes it actually goes to the previous screen so i'm not sure why this is not yet stable on this update but you know you can see it went back again if i shake again you can see it goes back if i shake again you can see you know it basically keeps going back but the motion pointer shake to work or to start it hasn't yet been working that stable for me or maybe i'm just using it wrong so if you have the series 5 se or series 4 do let me know whether you are seeing options to enable assistive touch but other than that this is how uh, this update came in for me on my apple watch series 6 if we go to the release notes and go to where it says watchOS 8.1 beta 3 and read the release notes you will notice that there's actually not much that was mentioned so you can see that there's this resolved issue in watchOS 8.1 beta 3 and it basically has to do with uh, the app store and after that we go back to updates in watchOS 8.1 beta 2 so just one resolved issue is mentioned but when it comes to bugs or issues that i've experienced so far not many as you can see now if we go into the battery just to see how good it is you can see that it was last charged to 100 percent about 1 p.m today and and you can see that it's about you know let's say like 6 p.m so it's almost five hours of usage and you can see that i have about 86 percent so not too bad let's see whether my battery help dropped you can see that it's still on 91 percent before updating on beta 2 it was on 91 percent so no change in that aspect and performance wise there isn't much that i can complain about with time if something does come up then i'll definitely let you know in the comment section below now when it comes to when we can possibly see the release of this watchOS 8.1 perhaps the next beta you can see that we've been like on weekly release cycles so you can see that today is the 6th of october and next week on the 12th of october that's when i actually expect beta 4 or you never know what apple could do since the new apple watch series 7 is supported with this update and pre-orders are beginning this uh friday i'll be very curious to see which software version they're actually going to be shipping the new apple watch series 7 with since it's coming out next week so we'll have to see whether it's watch os 8 or watch os 8.1 now that's about it for me when it comes to this watchOS 8.1 beta 3 as you can see not a lot has changed and if you like this video please leave a like if you find something else let me know in the comment section below and stay safe and i will definitely see you in the next video peace